special day. All of us surely share your happiness and we rejoice in your love. We've come here together this afternoon in this house of worship to seal then the covenant of your love. So I welcome you and all your relatives and friends to this celebration as now your two families are united. And all of us I'm sure offer you our very best wishes and prayers so that you may be blessed with peace and joy and trust. And may what we celebrate here this afternoon inspire all of us with a new hope and a new faith in the future. And so we pray. Father, when you created humankind, you willed that man and wife should be one. So bind Joseph and Catherine in the loving union of marriage and make their love fruitful so that they may be living witnesses to your divine love in this world, we ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. One of the important parts of every sacrament, the celebration of it, certainly is God's holy word. There are a lot of passages we could have chosen this afternoon, but Let's listen to the very famous one that St. Paul wrote in his first letter to the church at Corinth, 13, verse, chapter. Set your hearts on the greater gifts. Now I will show you the way which surpasses all the others. For if I speak with human tongues and angelic as well, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and the full knowledge, comprehend all mysteries. If I have faith great enough to move mountains, but do not have love, then I am nothing. And if I give everything to have, that I have to feed the poor, and hand over my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. It is, does not put on airs. It is not snobbish. Love is never rude. It is never self-seeking. It is not prone to anger. Neither does it brood over injuries received. Love does not rejoice in what is wrong, but rejoices with the truth. There is no limit to love's forbearance, to its trust, to its hope, to its power to endure. Love never fails. Heard the story of a pastor in a Midwestern town who introduced a rather interesting custom at the married ceremony. As the newly married couple uh, leave the church, he invites them into the front, the vestibule, we call it. And there he asks the bride to ring the church bell. Well, she tugs and tugs, but the heavy bell is simply too much for her to pull. And then he asks the groom to help her. And with both of them pulling, the bell begins to ring. And then the priest tells them, always remember now, married life is like ringing that bell. It's much easier when you pull together. Well, pulling together, of course, is an everyday expression that we use for harmony and cooperation, which, of course, is needed in every marriage. So, Catherine and Joe, it is our prayer, I'm sure, of everyone here, including myself certainly, that you do have a happy marriage, and that your marriage will ring a bell as 
the saying goes, not only this afternoon or today, but every day. You know, when two people get married who are past 21, not much, but a little anyway, uh, then the sometimes, you know, they say, well, there are disadvantages and advantages, maybe, huh? Now, the first objection we always hear is that, well, you're set in your way, so, well, that's true, but it can be a real advantage, huh? Because you've experienced and you've found out what brings joy, what brings satisfaction to your life, what works, what doesn't work, huh? and what makes for lasting and deep affection. Another advantage, of course, you have by being past 21 is that you've experienced at least some trials and troubles of life. Maybe not many, but some. And you've learned to be understanding and sympathetic because others have been understanding and sympathetic. And another advantage is, is that you know that companionship, what companionship and sharing really mean. You don't have to experience it or learn what it's all about. Huh? And another one, you've had the advantage of practicing your faith over many, many years. And that faith, I know for both of you, has grown deeper. You know from experience that God is our Father, that He has created marriage, that He will help you in your marriage. You know that prayer, whether alone or shared with your spouse, is important. You've learned a sense of responsibility over the years. You've learned to cope with the problems of life. And so you've learned already how to pull that rope together. And you know now what makes for happiness and what causes unhappiness. So your experience has so much advantage for you. So may God be with you through the years to come. May He inspire you to grow in love with each other, help you to be true companions to each other, and help you always to ring that bell of happiness every day of your life. All right, I would ask now that you come forward right again, please. And now, my dear friends, you've come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister in this community. Christ abundantly blesses your love. He's already consecrated both of you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage and mutual and lasting fidelity. So now in the presence of the church here, I ask you to state your intentions. Joe and Catherine, have you come here freely and without any reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yeah. And will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? <coughs> and now since it is your intention to enter marriage, I'm going to ask you to join your right hands and now to declare your consent before God and his church. I, Joseph Stubler, take you, Catherine Knight, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Catherine Knight, take you, Joseph Stubner, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have now declared your consent before the church here present. And may the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. For what God has joined together, man must not divide. O oh Lord, Bless these rings and consecrate Catherine and Joseph in their love for each other. May these rings be a symbol of true faith in each other 
and always remind them of their love. For we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Say these words. Catherine, take this ring. Catherine, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. Father, and of the Son, and of the, Son and, of the Holy Spirit. and of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, take this ring. Joseph, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus. Because Jesus has promised that what we ask the Father in his name he will give us, let us now with renewed confidence pray. And as we mention the prayers, I would ask that you uh, uh, respond by, Lord, hear our prayer. For Catherine and Joseph, that their wedding day may be a time of great joy and peace and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Catherine and Joseph, that their love and loyalty may grow deeper and stronger with each passing day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family, the relatives, and the friends of Catherine and Joseph, that they will continue to love, encourage, and support this couple, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of you who are married and present here today, may renew your marriage vows with Joseph and Catherine and grow in love with each other, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear yeah. our prayer. And for all the deceased relatives and friends of Catherine and Joseph, particularly their former spouses, that they may rejoice in the eternal wedding feast of God's glorious kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear yeah. our prayer. Holy Father, creator of the universe, maker of man and woman in your own likeness, source of blessing for married life, we humbly pray to you for this woman, Catherine, who today is united with her husband, Joseph, in the sacrament of marriage. May your fullest blessing come upon her and her husband, so that they may together rejoice in your gift of married love. O oh Lord, may they, both, may they both praise you when they are happy, and turn to you in their sorrows. And may they be glad that you help them in their work and know that you are with them in their need. May they pray to you in the community of the church and be your witnesses in the world. And when they reach old age in the company of their friends, may they come at last to the kingdom of heaven. For we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us together pray that prayer that our Lord himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. God, the Eternal Father, keep you in love with each other, so that the peace of Christ may stay with you and be always in your home. Amen. May your children always bless you, and your friends console you, and all people live in peace with you. Amen. And may you always bear witness to the love of God in this world, so that the afflicted and the needy will find in you generous friends and welcome you into the joys of heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us go in peace.
Okay, Don, you people, who's next? There you are. Come on. Everybody gets so close. Everybody gets so close. Okay, you're right here. I'm right here. Yeah. Okay. On that line, right? Right there. Any place in there. One more place, and it's the same place on this one. Oh, you're fine. You do everything fine. Well, we're real pleased for Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mighty fine. Yeah, they are. Very nice people. Both of them. Oh, you did? Oh. This is what I meant in marriage. Is this yours? Did you bring yeah. this up here? Yeah. Right here, huh? Okay. I think she bring a lot of happiness to it. Oh, yeah. Joe, we been around. All right, thank you. Here, would you, uh, would you see that Joe gets this? All right, thank you. Where's he at? I don't know. He doesn't laugh. He doesn't laugh. Catherine, I think Joe doesn't laugh down on you. Yeah. He's in the show here. Well, he's in the show. I sure am. At least he didn't pass out on it. No. I just put him in. Yeah, but you're on Miranda, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. 
Do you want two or shall I Well, you took that one. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Come on, Sam. You're right. I think you're right. Okay. How do you feel, Sam? Huh? How do you feel? It'll quit when it's through. That's the answer, Dad. It'll wind up. It'll wind up by itself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not worried. It's got the one. 24. Okay, so I like it. Thank you. Very nice. I lost my right. Okay. Yeah. 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 I guess everybody over there has got water. Oh, you got water. Gotcha. Thank you. Oh, what did I say? Well, we'll have to get her to change it. 
Oh, I knew I was going to do this. <laughs> so you can have one piece. One piece. Hang on one second. Well, thank you, Bonnie. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait, hold it. Okay. Now, do we get another one? No. This one? That one. That's the carrot. Better not. Well, I suppose the face is on Joe's face while he's eating. Better not. Okay. Here. Okay. Each of you take a piece of it and you feed it to each other. Okay. You did it. What's important? Break off a piece and feed it to her. Here, I, I feed you. <laughs> I remember my grandson's wedding. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Oh, <laughs> Joe, one, two, Joe, fix it in your face. No, you better not. <laughs> you better not. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> it is. Are we still under the camera? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I've got that right in my eye. Not at all. <laughs> that's the best shot. Yeah. That's what they always get good. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not on. You want to hear that? Uh, uh, <laughs> no. I, I submit. I guess. Eat it next year. Remember? Uh, I don't know what the big reason is. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> we got plenty of reason. No, I don't know. They got that tiny one. Oh, you're right. Here, put it away. I've never seen one like that. Put it away. 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 If I set this down, show the ring off. Show the ring. Show the ring. Show the ring. There you go. He's specialist. He's do you want to leave your rods out of here? Oh, I don't know if they all need to come out or not. I don't know how much of this can They want the total down. You have to save the one with the total. It's all upside down. Did you wave to the camera? Wave to the camera. Oh, is the camera? Oh, she's shy. <laughs> first time in her life. Oh, yeah, first time I've seen you shy. <clears throat>